Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome back to the Dwarves of Erebor campaign. This is the third episode and we were attacked by Captain Halstein if you remember. And there's not much hope in beating this force. However, dwarves do pretty well in Otter Souls and some of these guys might escape. Where it's only 4 to 5, so we're going to try and make some of these guys escape. Yeah, we lost at least some yes. of those. We're actually going to take that. Aye, the thing. Yeah, we're actually going to accept those. We march no further today. Now, we do have Dane, which will attack, and we're going to ally these two forces, and then Shadun should be ours. Now, I don't remember our force. Yeah, we have a pretty decent force right here. And yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to assault uh, Shadun. And we're going to let them attack us. Because they will be tempted to attacking us now. And these guys will just stay here for a little moment. As well as these guys. And we're going to build a watchtower here. I'm going to head back. So let's see. Let's build two of those. And they will hopefully attack us, most likely. They have a lot of forces right here. And then that problem will be out of this world. Now there's like, some reinforcements here, but it's not really a large force at all. And these guys are happy at the moment, which is great. We're going to build a pub as well. And now we gotta decide whether to reach out or not. And the Dunite actually holds this land, which is very nice. So I think we're just going to push straight for Barkeleg and kill Hunwan. And these can't really do much to Gimli anyways. We have a cavalry unit and Gimli himself can take down multiple foes. Yeah, and Angmar don't really have a lot of settlements left, I believe. They do have some over here. And we're going to establish trade with our brethren in the Blue Mountains. That's going to be nice. Now we're going to send you over here. Trying to talk with those. And let's see what is happening over here. Oh yeah, Lord Thorin, of course, is headed towards the settlement, which I'm not certain where it is. But, oh, it looks like the Easterlings have taken a settlement over here. So I'm actually tempted to just go straight for that settlement instead. And try to establish ourselves a little bit more in the north. Because we don't want the Well of the Winning to suffer too much. I'm just really quickly, oh wow, this is some lag. Let's, uh, let's quickly just check if we are building stuff most places. In Litash we're going to build a brewery. We're getting the halls of Durin in four turns, which is wonderful. And we're basically just building mining complexes everywhere, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Now, someone stated that I told like these guys were trash, uh, and you guys weren't really... You meant the opposite, that they were quite good. And I can agree upon that, because they have a lot of men in their battalion and they do have a lot of missiles so over a long time they will yield a lot of damage and if you remember at the battle for Mount Gundaban they did yield a lot of damage so I agree with you there that they can be used properly and also I'm receiving a lot of nice feedback on different stuff I'm really I'm really enjoying that you guys do give me some tips about the campaign um, because even though I know this game very well and I do a lot of good choices I still can learn more and you should always have that kind of view on everything you do that you can learn more that you can become better because then you will become much greater than you thought you could I I believe in now the Whale of Durvin campaign is going to be next campaign and it will be up tomorrow so from then on it's the Erebor and the Whale of Dorian campaign, which will be lasting for a period of time. And I'll also get some lore videos and some faction overview videos up in the meantime. 
And they are indeed going for the bait, just like we wanted. Now Drango is a fearsome foe, and he got a lot of wargs, which is our, which is something we can't deal with properly. They also have Searc ah, with more of those wargs. But we have King King Dane, Liberator of Gundabad, with 1,200 uh, dwarves. <laughs> so it's going to be a hard battle, to be honest. This is no, not a very bad army. But when we have defeated these guys, we'll have Litash, or I mean Shadun. Litash is over here. And I don't think Angmar have a lot of settlements left, and we can just start expanding into Eriador. So I will see you on the battlefield then. Right, we're here. Now the main objective here will be to try to bring down Drango. Because he is indeed a threat. We're going to try to get some kills with our Dalian cavalry before all of these guys gather us around. I don't know. I think they might be waiting for... Yeah, they're probably waiting for this guy. Because I think he's the one attacking. No, these guys are supposed to attack. So we should actually see these guys in battle in not too long. Uh, it looks like Drang is already coming for us. I think we should just retreat. Because those guys can't really hold up against... Yeah, they're starting to attack at this point. We want to try to get in as many hits as we can. Even though our Archers is not very good. It will still yield some damage to Drango. These guys we know from the Angmar campaign. They have been absolute monsters. And they do have a lot of armor as well, so... You see our arrows isn't doing a lot. And they're probably going to target our javelins. Or they're just targeting these guys, which is kind of weird. And they have more of these guys now. Let's try to get some axes into them. These guys can't do anything. I suppose we could, yeah, send some arrows into them as well. No, these guys aren't actually close enough to get Javis and let's bring them up a little bit closer. I don't know why their army is just ignoring this completely. Alright, now they're actually within range. Or they were at least for a little time. Not anymore. We don't really have an answer to these guys except for just, just trying to bring them down with arches. That's basically what we have. These guys are very clumped up now. Come on, give them hell, boys. They're just not within range. These guys use this skirmishing tactic, which is working very well. These guys have been brought down entirely, lost like 40 dwarves already. And that is because they're using these javelins. So we're going to suffer very much from that. We're going to try to bring these guys a little bit closer, try to get some kills. Looks like these guys are coming. These guys are going to be an easy part though. So it's really just these guys which will be the real pain here. But these guys aren't really doing enough damage. And this is a situation I think the Dalian Woodsman would have been useful. Yeah, and they're actually retreating now. That's rather unfortunate. It looks like these guys are actually getting some hits in. Let's see. No, they're, they're not really within range. Let's just try to bring them a little bit further back. Alright, they're now sending in some Angmarim archers. I'm thinking about just charging them, to be honest. Because I don't think these guys will focus my cavalry at the moment anyways. These guys will not do very much to our dwarves, but they will still get pain. That was a nice charge indeed. And they're just so occupied with my other infantry. They're finally going to attack over here. I'm going to bring out these Mattox on the flank. And I suppose these guys could be sent over here as well. Get some damage on those guys when they arrive. And these guys have stopped firing for some weird reason. Oh, that's probably because those retreated. But they're now coming, so let's do another charge. You see they're really, they 
get to the path pretty quickly. I think we're just going to hold right here. Even though these guys charge, is yeah, it's very good. So we're going to use stones to charge. So experience. Going to go straight over there. And I think we can do the same with these guys, to be honest. Let's give them a charge, boys. Let's see how they perform. How it looks. Oh, that is wonderful. That looks so nice. I'm going to send these guys entirely on the flank. And this Angmarim infantry seems to be going over here. Now these guys are engaged. Let's try to bring down Drango and make a route. These guys have very poor morale. You're also just going to charge, actually. Conscripts are trash. That we know of. Where are these guys now? They're right here. Alright, give them some hell, boys. And I for kind of forgot about these guys. We're going to bring them back home. Just going to outmaneuver these guys. And rain hell upon these Angmar infantry. They should be completely shredded by these Javis. Alright, and you bring down those. Because these guys rely very much on their armor. And they're just really attacking us from this side. Oh, that's going to be deadly. Try to hit those as well. And I think these guys are not... Yeah. We can probably send these guys around as well. We'll just bring down that lone unit. Iron Hills Mattox are holding bravely. These guys are getting some nice hits into the, into the side. Wonderful. Looks like these guys are also getting some nice hits. You can just... Uh, I see now that the Daily Cavalry is getting focused again. Keep missing them out. Now let's charge the Hillmen in the back. You as well just charge them. But they're going to struggle now. They still have their general somewhere, but we're just going to try to route them before that happens. Alright, we'll have to use our archers for this one. Let's use the ability. Let's try to run them through and make some routes. These guys are now engaged, but that's alright. Let's try to give them some more Javis. And these guys, let's try to outmaneuver Drango. That's a bit unfortunate, I just keep forgetting about them. There's a lot of micromanagement in this battle. Actually, just charge them in the back, that will be fine. These guys got charged. Now, uh, if we're sending these spears, we'll bring them down very quickly, actually. So these guys can just focus on the iron arches. And we have lost a lot of percentage. It's a really even battle. There we go. King Dane. Holding, um, holding very firm. Not really losing anything. You guys can go charge here. Even the Dwarven Arches is, is good in melee. Charge the hillmen, make them rout. And you guys can... Ah, oh, the Witch Knights are here. And they will they will rout right there. So we're going to send King Dane over here and deal with the Witch Knights. And the Dalian Cavalry, we're going to capture these guys with. Swift Beard Archers, send them over here as well. These are struggling at this point. Alright, that's actually Drango, we should charge him instead. He has only 25 left. We're doing very nice on this uh, part of the map, but we're struggling otherwise. The enemy is badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. We gotta capture them all as well, that's very important. I think we should send some of these guys, uh, these guys we should send over here. And the stiff breed will go into melee. Django is losing very quickly now. He's not made for being stationed in melee. And there we go. Keep the Angmarim Archers. King Dane. Keep charging those. And I suppose you guys could go over here as well. Let's try to speed this up a little bit. And 
and he's gone at this point. Airbar Axe is a very useful unit because it will do pretty well in melee after they are killed. Now, charge these healmen and make them rout. This cavalry we need to get out and save. We don't want to lose them all. Let's try to capture any routing troops. I just have them over here. Yeah, just look at the wargs here. They got completely killed off. And this was a harder battle than I thought. Those wargs did really inflict a lot of damage on us. Just bring down these witch knights, please. And you guys are holding a find over there. The cavalry could probably cause a rout on the other side, so I'm going to try to bring them over. Drango should die pretty soon, he's only 3 left at this point, so it's only a matter of time now. And here's the Hillman, we won't charge, they're going to route very easily because they have such low morale and you see there they route already. And we can bring these guys around and just charge over here. Snork Spears will go down as well. That's actually some mercenaries, I didn't even notice that at the first at the blink of time. Oh, just bring down Drango at this point. He's standing here all alone. If we can bring him down, all of these guys are going to route very fast. These Stonefoot Spearmen have been performing pretty well. But they are the... And there, the first general goes down. By King Dane. Now, let's bring down these archers. And then Drango goes as well. This stiff bit archers. Very good job. And they should all route at this point, if we just hit them hard. Let's completely surround them and bring them down. And the Dalian Cavalry will capture them so that they don't get the city. Actually all of you guys can now hit these archers. And there they go. That will actually be it, I don't think. Yeah, just capture these guys and we'll be fine. That will take a little while with only two cavalry left. I could have micromanaged a little bit better, but it's kind of hard with all of these wargs going around. It will often make things a little bit more difficult. That's only 19, yeah, that's fine. 739 lost, 1800 killed. But they had a lot of dwarven weapons in their army. Or I, I would rather say units that is pretty efficient against the dwarves. But with the war out of the way, we don't have much to fear at this point. I think the goblins of Moria have some works with crossbows, so that's also a high concern. But the thing is they're so fast so they will always outmaneuver the dwarves. And the dwarves don't have a lot of archers, so they can't really hit them. However, when the dwarves, I mean the wargs, go into melee, they can't really do much. Uh, they are trying to get inside Barkeleg before the battle. But there, there's, there the capsule goes. I'm tempted to actually, no. We, yeah, we're going to exterminate just so that I can move King Dane out of this place. Alright, we're making a lot of money again. Resistance is futile, Karasant besieged, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, the rune is doing pretty good, so we need to start hitting them. Dun Landings and Goblins of Moria, towards the Castle Doom, up there, a truce, get some troops in Mount Gundabad, and let's build the brewery, not much culture here. So now ask the question, Dorthol and Rakhang. And they probably hold something down here as well. We're going to check about that. But yeah, this army is completely emptied. But if we just bring down these reinforcements, we'll be fine. Tempted to send these guys over here as well. Let's just check if we can recruit anything. Oh, only three turns. We might see them then. I don't think you need any culture requirements. I'm not entirely sure. But we'll have to see about it. Afterwards, we're going to build the... Ah, oh, cool. Probably the heavy armor. 
It's nice getting some nice upgrades on our troops. I always enjoy that. Can't recruit anything. Ah, here we can recruit a lot. Let's just get these units streaming. And in Kirikathol, let's get some more units there as well. Now we're just going into lands we don't really know about here. I, I don't really have a lot of experience with this land. Or at least I don't really remember where the settlements are. So it's going to be a walk in the dark, to be honest. I'm going to send these guys. Oh, I forgot about these guys. But we definitely do want to take Wittebor now. Let's actually hope they don't get attacked. And we're going to send units from Kirikathol as well, actually. Yeah, let's just send these guys over to Erebor. Because as uh, some of you stated, we can actually recruit um, Dragon Slayers out over here when we reach the culture requirements. So we do want to get more guys over here. And you were on your way to the Dwarves of Edith Luin. And you're going to start attacking Bachgeleg, which is very empty at this point. And it's even their capital. Yeah, these guys are definitely struggling now. Gimli is fine right here. Yeah, he definitely needs to stay inside there for now. I think King Dane can just build a little watchtower in the meantime. And they do actually hold Morvatarth. So when we have this army, we are going to start hitting those. We're going to leave behind a couple of units as well. Yeah, most of these units is very tired to be honest. We're going to send these guys over here to retrain. Litash is pretty mad now. So we probably need to reinforce with some troops right there. We're going to send these guys to Litash. And it's not too long until we can recruit more. But the next plan now, we're going to keep up the advance over here and just hit Rune hard. In the meantime, we're going to end Angmar's reign. That's going to be the first priority. And you see the Northern do not hold a lot of land here. And they haven't even taken this region. So we can expand quite heavily into Eredor. And then we want to take down Morvatar right here. And then start hitting the goblins. We're going to go straight for Goblin Town. And relieve Imladris from the pain that all the goblins send. Because they have a lot of strength in their spam. Alright, we need to find this settlement pretty quickly. Let's hope he doesn't get attacked. And in the meantime, we're going to attack with the board from Erebor. And then I think we have a pretty solid plan in how we want to shape things up. I'm definitely looking forward to the barracks rent. Getting some Dwarven catapults, that's one of the most fun things about the Dwarven campaign. That catapult can potentially kill thousands if used properly. And it's very, very, very deadly. No doubt about it. The Throttle Moon, yeah, sure. Alright, let's see how... Oh, it's civil war here already. That's going to be fine. You guys stay in this fort. Actually, you can just head out for this fort right here when I think about it. And that's going to be quite an easy battle. Yeah, here they hold this. Let's go over here. We actually want this diplomat of ours to establish some nice relations. Let's try to go through here and get an alliance with the Northern Dune line. Garrison quarters. Can we recruit already? No, we gotta wait a little bit. Alright, in mount. Good about two turns now, boys. And girls. Alright, let's just send them straight here. Same with you. You headed back to Mount Gudabad. And you come into the fort. And with this army, making game should be sufficient enough. Let's leave behind these guys. And they're going to be fine with that. So next turn we're heading straight for Marvatar. And we're making money. And let's bring down Barkareg. That's going to be a quite easy battle. Even though they do have 
of the Lord Hunvorn, Wraith of Cardulan, which is our very, very strong enemy for the dwarves, considering these guys are armor piercing and they don't rely on their armor because we have a lot of armor piercing as well. I'll see you on the battlefield and we're going to bring down Hunvorn, Wraith of Cardulan. There the gate goes down. This is indeed how town looks for the remnants of Angmar. Now we're actually going to send down that inside our general first. Well, that sentence didn't really make any sense. And we're going to send the Iron Hills Mattox because they have a lot of a lot of these archers, which just basically only relies on their armor. If you look at their defense, and these guys are of course armor piercing, so they should just get a lot of experience now. We're just going to wait here. I think they're going to attack us as soon as we capture the gate. So as soon as these guys go through, we are just going to run straight for these guys. And today we are going to have a 45 minute episode. I'm not going to bring one hour episodes every time. Alright, let's, let's see if they start actually sending arrows upon us once we have crossed the gate. Yeah, you see they already moved. That's just how the AI works. Let's send in these guys as well. And we are going to surround them. These guys have a lot of armor. On the other hand, yeah, they have seven armor. That's pretty good. But they are getting perfect blank shots here, so it's not very weird if they're getting a lot of kills here. We could potentially have sent our general first just to soak up some damage. Because he have like 32 total defense. So that would probably have been a better idea. Yeah. They got a lot more hits in than I wanted. Definitely. But at least when they are in melee. These guys are going to be utterly slaughtered. And let's send in these guys as well. Lun, show what you are capable of. Uh, that was very weird. There we go. These guys are actually keep, they actually keep firing, which is rather unfortunate. So let's just try to hit them and at least kill some of them while they are firing. Yeah, these guys are doing nice. We're just going to try to take as few casualties as possible here. But that was a foolish decision to send these guys in first. Like they have like almost the least armor of all my Dwarven brethren and they were sent first into battle. Ah, uh, you see, when I, this is a really good unit when they make this kind of formation. But they're actually getting stun locked. We do want to send these guys in now, definitely. Our men are winning the Lord! We have lost control. Only half the enemy. Moon one is still just standing right here. Let's bring these guys through and just entirely bring the, these guys down. But every unit we send against these guys is going to be bad. So what we'll have to do essentially is just surround them completely, which we are going to do. And these guys, all right. Let's just bring them all over the place. And the general should go from behind. You guys hit over here. These guys are not going to do anything at all because they aren't armor piercing. So it's going to be a very bad battle. But when we're surrounding them, they should actually lose a couple of men. Let's just send everything we got over here. I think the general is going to make it out. He's right here. And these guys are surrounded now. They're starting to lose men. On the other hand, it's actually a bit risky. I'm just sending out. And he's actually stuck right there. Yeah, he got that. That's fine. But here you see why these guys are so efficient against the dwarves. We could even have sent these guys up, but yeah. Let's just bring the general over here in the meantime. These guys are actually routing. All 
Alright, we gotta hit them at the same time. That's going to be bad, real bad. But we're going to be able to surround them. Yeah, just look at that initial charge. Check out pretty many. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, come on now. Will be ours. Bring down these power whites. They are no joke at all. Agmar is is a very very bad enemy for the dwarves if if you don't bring them down. But there he goes. Hunwan, Wraith of Cardolan. That was pretty bad play on my part. It was like 31% in that battle, which is really stupid to be honest. But we got to see some of the mistakes I made, which is important to show. Alright, Royal Guard, a lot of kills. So the things I did wrong there was, first of all, not letting my general soak up all the arrow damage. If he had leapt through the gate first, because he had like 32 total defense and the Iron Hills Mattox have like 7, which makes it a very stupid decision to send in the Iron Hills Mattox first. And I should probably have set a little bit more reinforcements before I took on Hundwarn. Potentially I could I could have used my archers to bring him down. But at least we, we took it. But just wanting to, to portray how to not do this stuff. Because that was a really stupid decision. Now the Dundan army is going to they're going to be fine with us. Let's just merge those two. They're actually fine with that. Which is Ah, we can just do this and it will be completely fine. Let's build the brewery. And we're going to send this army up here. Let's send these guys down here. Alright, but that's very nice. We have some plans here. Now, can I move you or are you still occupied? Yeah, I can move you now. Here is gone. All right, that's going to be a nice battle. They do only have trash here, but then we'll finally see the eastern wings of ruin in action. Let's get or grab both of those. Let's just send these guys as well. And these guys did survive, which is nice. This is a fearsome army. We will get some troops. Yeah, not in a long time. Let's get these boys. Let's get both of those. Oh yeah, we are actually out of money now. So just wait a little bit with us. Uh, we're making enough now. It's fine. I right, let's end the turn. That Barclay battle was very, very poor. But it portrayed some mistakes. Now Skarn, that's going to be an easy battle. They they only had like Easterling trash there, Diatai clansmen and Diatai hunters, which is pretty bad. But we need to start hitting Rune. I think they have a lot of forces around that place. Now that Angmarim army will also be important and important to bring down, and they don't really have a proper general as well. Ah, uh, they do have a lot of war raiders. Oh. Let's just bring this army Isaac. in first. We're going to bring them down, but let's just wait a little bit. Ah, uh, we got the brewery now. We got to go straight for the pub when we can. Which means now. Yeah, we failed that mission. Alright, let's bring these guys down here. We're going to take out Moratar. And King Dane, you're going to follow. You're going back here for the training. One more turn into the Halls of Durin. Was, it, was that the name? Hall of Durin, yes, is finished. Wow, that's amazing. 
Now I'm finally going to see some Easterling action right here. Alright, I will see you in the battlefield and we're going to face off the Dietai Hunters and the Dietai Clansmen. This is the village of Skarn. Built beside this cliff, which will make it very easy for these stiff beat archers to do some damage on these guys. Now I'm just going to let these guys use all their arrows before I do anything else. And then we're going to send Lord Thorin because we will be able to crush these guys. As well as Erebor Infantry and these guys over here. Alright, let's just bring these guys up here and... If we stand like this, these guys aren't really going to get a lot of kills done. Because they're very poor. Yeah, they're very poor archers and the angle is very bad for these guys. Just look at it, they're just spamming all their arrows but they're not getting much done here. Just look at it, this, they only have lost like one. But they will, of course, yield some damage over time. Alright. We're actually getting stun locked out of arrows. Alright, we'll have to send in these guys now. Because now they are occupied. And the plan is working out pretty well. Let's bring in these guys here and these guys here. And we're going to take minimal losses. Even though we're going to take a couple of losses, it's going to be worth it. Not everyone will get kills because some of them will shoot into the ground. That's just how it is. They will be shielded from taking damage as well. Alright. We're going to hit the Dadatai Clansmen. We're going to hit the Dadatai Hunters. And you're going to go straight into here. We could actually just send in these guys as well. Why not? Alright. They're just going to let us completely charge them. We're going to take down those. And these guys are actually going to be surrounded. Or are they? They're actually attacked, so we're going to take the Data Hunters from here. And let's just send in everyone we got and just completely surround them. The cavalry could probably be used as well. But the Dark Tide Clansmen, 8 total defense, 4 attack, 2 charge bonus. They are trash, to be honest. Completely trash. And these guys will get perfect flanking shots into these guys at this point. Yeah, they're starting to suffer from morale now. Right, and you guys are going to charge straight into those. Not really sure if they're going to get a proper charge, but it can't really do too badly either. Let's just go straight for the town center. And you guys will go here. You will hit the, those in the back. And you can actually charge these guys. Let's stop these firing. Yeah, they're struggling. We haven't lost anything at all. Let's charge those. The enemy general and there the general dead. goes down. The crows have his miserable now these guys should... Yeah, they're his going head. to run away. We're going to capture them. Let's just bring them all down. Very pleasant meeting with the rune. The first meeting with rune was a very pleasant indeed. Bring them down. The enemy army and there they go. So let's just them, get some more experience. 1 in 10, 9 in Yeah, the Royal Guard performing very, very well. I love this picture. Fountain Guard. Or I suppose... No, this is probably something else from the Silmarillion, if I'm not mistaken. I just don't remember, but there is some kind of armor left away for someone. I can't really remember the setting. Do any of you guys remember? Please tell me in the comment section. And that's beautiful. Yeah, we can't really... Oh, we can actually build the Arcanic Clan Hall here, which is kind of surprising. 
We do want this place to... And Thorin actually get free upkeep. Wow. Hi. My king. I saw All right, I'm actually just going to build a couple of watchtowers here. My king. I, and I think we can just head out with this army. We can probably be behind these 88. And they're going to be completely fine. Yeah, you see the border go right here. And we're not very far from Rune now. However, we don't have the forces to really maintain a border at the moment. Because we're going to Wittibor first. Yeah, we'll have to bring down Wittibor first, yeah. But these guys are not far. When these guys arrive, we're going to attack. Can't recruit anything here at the moment. We should end the episode now, but we're going to do one more turn and see if we can be able to... Oh yeah, we need to deal with those. I'm actually going to deal with these guys off camera, and then I'm going to end one more turn after this battle. Alright, we crushed them. Almost 19%. Wasn't too bad. There we go. Let's end the battle. Let's see. Yeah, the Burning Riders did a lot of work for us. So, the Framsburg strategy have indeed been implanted because it looks to be a very solid strategy because you get those burning riders and you can also recruit them as mercenaries and they just look to be very useful indeed all right so we're just going to end one more turn before we end the episode let's execute those and let's move on out of the vast lands of Angmar. Ah, the Northern Dundan actually took this region. But that is actually fine to me, because that just means we don't have to bother as much. Ah, uh, oh, we can't really go. We need to go around, it looks like. Unfortunate, but that's just how it is. And we are building, yeah, we're building everywhere. Beautiful. Let's end the turn and see what the world brings to us. The Hall of Durin is indeed what the world brings to us. That's going to be such a lovely, lovely upgrade for Mount Gundabad. If we can recruit the Hammers of Gundabad already, the most overpowered unit for our faction at this point of time, that's just going to be out of this world. 44th turn, let's see how it goes. We probably need to wait a little bit with the board. Faction announcements. Alright. Stiff beat archers. Hall of Durin. And we can't actually recruit them already. Holy shit. 33 total defense. 17 attacks. 7 charge bonus. Wow, boys. We're going to see these guys in the next episode. And we'll soon be able to recruit even more elites out of here. That's so excellent. Captain Captain the Witch King? <laughs> wow. They have failed utterly there. We're going to have to bring those down. In the meantime, King Dane will move on. Take up more of Tarth. And let's check what is going on in the east. As much as I want to push, we just don't really have. We do have one force, but what can we do with it, to be honest? We can take one settlement or so. We could probably help out or win, and though. Just try. Yeah, we're going to just build some watchtowers and see if we can help them in any manner. And these guys will soon be on their way. Let's get some cavalry as well, that's going to be useful. Let's just max out this army. And after we have taken out with the board, we're going to head straight for Goblin Town with these guys. So we do have a plan. And everywhere else, it's not long until we get the mining complexes, it looks like. Yeah, not too long at all. We're building a lot of stuff here now. 
Let's get these guys as well. These are very expensive though, 1550 just for one unit. That's very... That's almost the same value as a market. But these are... They can use sharpen state, they're effective against armor. 33 total defense, 17 attack, 7 charge bonus, and they're 101 in the unit. There's 620 upkeep. That's ridiculous, but it's well deserved. Now he needs to stay there. You will stay there. And the culture is going slowly upwards. Captain the Witch King. I'm actually just going to alter all that. Not too bad. I want to be the Watchtower. And we're just heading into their lands. Rakang. Ah, it's actually two different regions. But that's fine. I think we are fine at the moment. We don't need to send any more troops. We can actually bring out these guys though. Just take that. Fort. And I'm tempted to send these guys with King Dane, to be honest. And probably just hit. Yeah, Moratarth is not their capital. Because the goblins hold this region. So we're going to hit them as well. But that is it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think we have been doing some nice progress. Took one, two settlements here. And a third one over here. And we've finally seen Rune. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how the situation evolves around here. And we're also going to cleanse the whole mountain region for the orcs. And we are going to use these guys to do that. Which is going to be wonderful. We can only recruit one every 20th turn. So they are definitely uh, expensive units. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Do make sure you watch the Well of the Winning campaign, which is starting tomorrow. That's going to be a very nice campaign. And it requires a lot of skills with the campaign map. So I will see you right there.